Hi, my name is Dominic Lewington, Director of Solution Consulting at Hymetric, a global elite service now partner. Welcome to another edition of Hymetric's Tech Bytes series, where we spend eight or so minutes discussing an easily digestible value-added use case facilitated by the brand new ServiceNow Orlando release. Today we're going to have a look at going omni-channel, moving from the older calls module to interaction management in Orlando. As ever, let's get started by reviewing a summary of the documentation. So in short, interactions are a centralized location for all communication channels in the platform. Each interaction represents a request for assistance through a given channel, for example, a call or a chat or an email. The Now platform offers several forms of queuing and communication management, but each system is tightly coupled to a specific area. Interactions offer an alternative, flexible and more extensible option so that each product area can use the same framework. OK, so let's move on to a quick demo. OK, so let's have a more detailed look at interaction management within ServiceNow. So in effect, as mentioned in the introduction, interaction management has replace the calls plugin, the calls module, which deprecated this release and a few releases before. So in effect, we've extended the calls module to allow for the much more omni-channel approach to service management, to ServiceNow that was, pro, uh, that was um, available at the time of the calls module. So I'm going to look at it first of all from the perspective of the UI 16 view, and I'll show you natively how it interacts and how it integrates with the, the workspace views, the more modern agent workspace type views. So in effect, two major use cases for looking at interaction management within ServiceNow. Number one, logging interaction that does not relate directly to an open ticket, change in some problem case, whatever it might be. Number two, logging interaction with a customer or an end user that is related directly to a ticket that already exists within ServiceNow. So I'm logged in here as Beth. Beth is going to be playing the, the part of our tier one support agent, whether it be case management or ITSM, not really important. Interaction management suits both. And you can see here, Beth has logged all her interactions with her customers that yet have actual tickets directly related to them. So we can see people have phoned Beth, people have contacted Beth through the mobile application, the chat application, through the web portal. So that's really expansion of the calls module to take into account all the new channels are available for our customers and for our employees and for end users to interact with us as a service provider. So use case number one, Beth can log a new interaction without a related ticket directly from service now in the UI 16 view. Use case number two. Here we can see we have an existing case that Julia Lewis opened some time ago and now Julie is chasing, she's looking at invoicing, she has queries, she wants to interact with Beth and ourselves as a service provider to actually find out the status of her case and any related workflows and work streams that this case may have kicked off. So we can see at the bottom in the UI 16 view and interactions related lists available. And from here, I can click new and generate a new omni-channel interaction or automatically if I'm capturing it from somewhere like the, the virtual agent, the chat piece through the web portal and actually generate that interaction directly related to a ticket. So use case number two, interact, interactions that occur between us and the customer that are directly related to an open ITSM or CSM type of ticket. Okay, so that's the UI 16 view. As I mentioned, interactions management is natively integrated into the workspaces view. So let's have a look at how it looks in agent workspace. So here we have the same list view, Beth Anglin's interactions, exact the same list as we saw there in the UI 16, but presented as one of my lists or lists in the agent workspace piece. So let us log a new interaction. So again, if we're used to using Agent Workspace, a very similar consistent UI UX here in terms of this form to log the interaction. List of available channels, as I mentioned, that concept of expanding out the calls module to allow us to log against all the interaction channels that are now available in the most modern versions of service now. So we can say, or log a walk up, grab my account, grab my contact and this is quite important as well the ability if we are dealing with external or indeed internal but external in this particular case external contacts is just to verify this person is entitled to support so let's verify the contact we find julie is in fact yes a valid user 
valid customer. So yes, those contacts have been verified. A bit of workflow there to make sure we're actually only logging interactions with people that are entitled to support. Okay, from there we can save our interaction, save there as a interaction object. If we just go back to list, our interaction object so we can decide later on whether or not we need to actually create a ticket off the back of this interaction change in some problem case. We look at it as a query, we look at it as an interaction, and then we go down the line to actually decide whether or not this is to be logged as something that has a service level against it in effect. So let's look at the other use case in the agent workspace. And this one was fairly simple as well. This is a concept of saying, okay, we have an open case here that Julie logged some time ago. We have our interactions here in a related list. Julie is phoning up or walking by or using the chat function, all those wonderful channels we have available to ourselves now to actually interact with us around this case. It's not directly related to the updating this case itself. So new interaction. Just grab myself the ID there. New interaction. Let's say this particular one is, again, again, this could be automatically populated depending on the channels we're using. A mobile piece. We know that Julie is from Boxio. Quickly verify my contact again. Chasing progress update. And give that a save. So what we can do now across the top, if you look at some of these UI actions, is we can actually directly from this interaction, even though it's logged against that case already, create a sibling or a child case, incident, change, problem. I mean, the list is endless and supports all the different ITSM and CSM ticket types. But for this particular piece, I'm just going to associate the record and then associate my interaction with the case I've been working on and give that a save. Okay, interaction management as a replacement or an improvement on the calls plugin, the calls module within ServiceNow. Okay, so let's wrap stuff up. Thank you very much for your time and attention today as we discussed interaction, interaction management on the brand new ServiceNow Orlando release. Please do reach out for us for our social channels through myself or directly to your account manager. Whether you have a question on anything we discussed today or any other matter related to service on platform, applications or processes. So on that note, it's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you on the next episode of Hymetrics Tech Bytes.